This video will highlight a number of the features available within the new audit trail built into the Manitou 153 release. So to begin, let's go ahead and uh, go into edit mode for this particular account and make a modification to the record. So in this particular case, let's bring up the contact list and change one of the individual's phone numbers. So I'm going to go in here and say that his phone number has now changed to 555-1344. And we'll go ahead and select Save. Prior to the 153 release, the only way that you could view information that was changed was uh, through the activity log and see if they put any comments in when they made that modification to the record. So again, we can see here in this particular case that we made an edit, time, date, and user stamped, and that there was a save, again, time, date, and user stamped. However, if we click on the entry now, on the save entry, it will pull up the details information and you can see here we have the information here and we now have an audit trail tab to the log details. So I can click on that audit trail and I can see exactly what happened uh, with this edit. So we can see that we updated the person info, one of the contacts, and the old value that was in place for that particular phone number or contact point and the new value that has been placed into uh, into the system. So we'll go ahead and click OK and we now know uh, who made the change, what change specifically was made in this particular case, and uh, what the new value is. Now we can also view this information from the system log. So as before, you could go in here and see the edits, and if we double click on one of those lines, again, the audit trail details will appear. The other thing that you can do is click on the actual audit trail log line, and that will present, again, some additional information and the audit details and a friendlier screen here where you can see time, date, user stamped, old value, and new value for the audit trail information. In addition to the display of the audit trail information within the operator workstation, there's also an interface within the supervisor's workstation that allows you to go in and look at all of the uh, information that has changed for different contacts, uh, whether they're customer, central station, authorities, dealers, uh, within those records as well uh, within the supervisor's workstation. So let's go ahead and take a look at that interface right now. I'm going to go ahead and clear out of that and bring up my supervisor's workstation. And we've added a new uh, area here under maintenance and audit trail. And that will bring up this uh, audit trail review form. Now this will show you all of the changes that have been made and under which context uh, those changes were. So in this particular case I can see that there are three different changes in here that have not yet been reviewed uh, that belong to customer records. So to drill into that all I need to do is uh, expand that node and click on that and I can go ahead and see that information again displayed very similarly to uh, the way that we're displaying it within the operator workstation where I can see the time date user stamp, uh, what was updated, the old value and the new value uh, within the, the screen here. I can also double click on that to view that in the other dialog box as well. And then for additional functionality, you'll notice that uh, when we clicked on this here, it's yellow, designating that it's unreviewed at this particular point. As a supervisor or through this interface, you have the ability to go in and approve or uh, reject the different changes that have been made in the system. So if I want to approve this, all I need to do is right click on it and mark it as approved and it will allow me then to enter some comments into the audit trail log. So we can say here uh, approved by Bob and click OK and that now changes to green letting us know that that update has been approved within the system. The other option 
also is to mark it as unapproved. Now once I've approved it, I can't go back and change it. So let's go ahead here and take a look at one of the other changes that uh, we have in here. So I've got uh, where we changed a service type uh, within this particular record. So I could go in here and mark that as unapproved. Again, type in any comments uh, that I want to go into the activity log and that will go ahead and designate that in red, letting us know that it was unapproved. Now, marking uh, records as approved or unapproved does not modify anything within that particular record. So what this will allow you to do is to mark it so that you can go in and generate a filtered report on all of the rejected uh, or unapproved uh, information that you have in the queue and then go in to those customer records and might make the modification back to the original values.